Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem four in chapter twenty nine. Chapter twenty nine is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So this is a simple application about Faraday's law. When you find the induced EMF in the loop. Now let's see what is the given quantities. First, it gives us how many turns of the loop, right? It says a loop, so n equal to one. And the diameter is given, and the B magnetic field is given, time taking is given. So we write down the Faraday's laws equation here, and then we will find that we need to find the derivation on the magnetic flux with the t time. So we can write this one as delta phi over delta t for a certain time, right? This is ask you average inducted EMF. And now we can see in this equation, n is given, delta t is given, so we need to look at delta phi. So delta phi is a change of magnetic influence. So we use the final magnetic influence minus initial magnetic influx, right? So it tells us uh, the loop is rotated so that its plane is parallel to the field directions. So that means initially, uh, the magnetic field is zero. Uh, initially, the angle theta is zero because it tells you the oriented perpendicular, right? Then it is a parallel to field directions, so 90 degrees. Now, in this case, we write down, we can get the change of magnetic influence. And then, it is, in this equation, we have A. This is a cross-sectional areas for the loop. So we can write it as a pi times the radius squared. Now we, you can see we input the, the delta phi in this equation. So we can simplify the Faraday's law in this one, right? Input all the given quantities, you get the answer there. Thank you.